Should everyone subscribe to Ani's house? Yes. Yes. Yay. Yay. Hello, my reading friends. It's Ani. Thank you for being part of my reading family. Are you ready for a story? What do you think it takes to be a good leader? Let's find out as we read The Cape. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Annie's house. The Cape. What does it mean to be a leader? Written by Tasha Johansson and Braylon Johansson. Illustrated by Glenn Harmon. My teacher called me to the front of the class. He draped a long, colorful cape around my shoulders and gave me an important job. You, he said, are meant to be a leader. It feels funny, I said, tugging at the ties around my neck. This thing doesn't fit. I didn't understand this strange new word. What does it mean to be a leader, I asked. He nodded and smiled. You'll see. I looked down at my cape with its bright red swirls and I decided I must be special, better than my friends. So I wore my cape as a trophy, prancing around like a peacock. I'm the boss of you, I said to my classmates. Just look at my cape. I told them where to step, how to play, and even who to be. But they wouldn't follow. No one will listen to me. I complained to my teacher. I was an expert player, and I knew all the very best games. But I couldn't make them play with me. My teacher smiled and said, That's not what it means to be a leader. The next day, the other kids were mean. Ava told me that the cape was made for someone bigger and stronger. It was too long, and it looked raggedy dragging along the ground. Sophie said the color of my cape was too bright. Jake said it made me look silly. Their words hurt. I was done with the cape. It wasn't worth it. Besides, it didn't seem to be working. Just then, I saw some big kids picking on Lucas. I ran over and lifted my cape to protect him. And something magical happened. The cape became strong. I became strong. Their mean words bounced off both of us. The cape was powerful, but only if I used it right. I wore my cape every day and used its power to help everyone. One day, I forgot my magic cape. I worried as I rode to school. What if Ricky needed help with his math today? What if I needed to fly super fast? How would I help my friends without my cape? At recess that day, Jesse fell off the monkey bars and banged his leg really hard. Everyone looked to me for help. Quick, they said. Bring the cape. I didn't have it, but I ran over anyway. There was no magic fabric to wrap him in, so I used my arms instead. Then something amazing happened. Ricky jumped up and asked me what to do. Run and get the teacher, quick, I said. Ricky sprinted toward the classroom. He flew so fast, and he didn't even have a cape. Cole came up and held Jesse's hand. Together, we kept him safe. As I watched my friends, I finally understood the cape's real power. I thought about it all day. And when the last bell rang, I knew exactly what to do. I ran home as fast as I could, found some scissors, and grabbed the cape. The next morning, I went in to see my teacher. Where's your cape? He asked. Slowly, I opened my backpack to show him what I had done. Twenty-six bright red capes. One for every child in my classroom. 
each made from a piece of the cape he had given me. For 26 superheroes ready to be strong, I told him. My teacher smiled as he put his arm around me. That, he said, is what it means to be a leader. Being a leader isn't about bossing people around. It's about working together to make sure everyone is taken care of. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.